In this video, we are going to look at drawing strip diagrams for division situations. There are three types of division situations. In one, you know the number of groups and you are looking for the number of items in each group. That is what I call a one for you situation because you can go one for you, 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 one for you. Then there's a second situation where you know the number in each group and you're looking for the number of groups. I like to call that a chunking situation because you are taking chunks of the group and putting them into um, getting the number of groups. Then there is a final situation where you are looking for a fraction of the total. Remember we talked about that fractions are actually a division problem. So if you have one half, that's the same as one divided by two. So anytime that you have a fraction, you're also looking at a division situation. Let's take a look at this one. Joey has 48 pieces of bubble gum to share between himself and five friends. So far we know he has 48 pieces and he's going to share it between himself and five friends. So that means six people total, correct? Yes. How many pieces will each person receive? So in this one we know how many groups there are, six, because there are six people. And we know the total, 48 pieces of bubble gum. What we are looking for is the, the amount in each group. How much will each person get? Now the number sentence that would go with this, or the equation, is 48 divided by 6 equals blank. In order to draw the strip diagram, I would have my bar see that represents 48 pieces so I show that the whole bar is 48 and then it's going to be divided into six parts one two three four five six Okay, so now I know that there are six groups, and because um, one's for Joey, and one's for friend one, two, three, four, and five. Then I would decide, well, I know 48. If I'm going to multiply six times blank, equals 48. I think about the multiplication fact that will help me know this. And if I put 8 in each group, I know that 6 times 8 is 48. So 48 divided by 6 is 8. My answer statement would say each person will receive 8 pieces of candy because 8 is the number in each group. So that's a one for you, one for you situation. So if you didn't know your multiplication fact, you could draw the strip diagram and then you could literally take them and go one for you, 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 all the way until you got to 48. This situation is more of a chunking situation. Ellen is placing flowers in vases. If each vase holds four flowers, so each vase holds four flowers, how many vases, also known as how many groups, can she fill with 36 flowers? So our total is 36. Each group is going to be four flowers. 
four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty four, twenty eight. 32, 36. So do you see how I added on chunks of four until I got to 36? Then I would count to see how many vases she would need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So my equation for this situation is 36 divided by 4 equals blank and we know the answer is 9 make it look more like a 9 and less like a 4 because 9 times 4 equals 36 my complete sentence answer would say Ellen can fill 9 vases with 36 flowers Okay, Antonia completed 28 puzzles in her word search book. Carrie completed one-fourth as many as Antonia. How many pages did Carrie complete? This is a fraction situation. You can see the fraction one-fourth as many. We know that Antonia had 28. So I'm going to make a bar for Antonia. And her bar is worth 28. And we need a bar for Carrie. And her bar is going to be one-fourth the size of Antonia's. That means it would take four pieces for hers to equal Antonia's. So I drew four different segments in a bar that was equal to Antonia's for Carrie. And then what I'm looking for is what part this is. Since I know that Antonia's is 28 from here to here, I can take that and divide it by four because there are four sections here one two three four and if I divide it by four I will find the amount of one section 28 divided by four equals seven because seven times four equals 28 so I know that this one bar, this one part, is worth seven. So Carrie completed seven pages, or seven puzzles, in her word search book. Let's look at one more that uses fractions. Aaron made 12 free throws in his basketball game. Chad made one-third as many free throws as Aaron. How many free throws did Chad make? Okay, so the information we know is that Aaron made 12 free throws. So we can draw Aaron's bar because we know his total. And his bar has a value of 12 that Chad made one-third as many. That means he made less. One-third is a fraction. A fraction means it is less than a whole. So we make a bar for Chad. That is equal to Aaron's bar, but this time our denominator is three. So we're going to divide that bar into three parts. So we could find one-third 
of Aaron's bar by taking his total 12 and dividing it by the number of pieces here which is 3 and we would find that each piece is worth 4 because if we took 4 and 4 and 4 4 times 3 is 12 so Chad had one third. That means only one of these pieces. So not this piece and not that piece. Chad made four free throws. We know because four times three equals 12. This lesson has been about using strip diagrams to illustrate division situations.